President Obama has become quite the arrogant prick since he left office. Uh, and he's been giving Wall Street speeches for $400,000 a pop. That was the very first news story that came out about him since he left office. That, okay, here we go. Now he's going to Wall Street, getting a tremendous amount of money for short speeches. Um, and also, he's been endorsing corporatists like Dianne Feinstein. So Di virtually everybody running in the Democratic primary against Dianne Feinstein is to the left of Dianne Feinstein. But Obama stepped in to back Dianne Feinstein, even though she was in favor of the Iraq War, even though she was in favor of the Patriot Act, um, even though she wanted to gut the estate tax. She is deeply, deeply conservative. She's a drug warrior. Obama, pff, I don't care. I'm in favor of Feinstein because I love the establishment. So that's what he's been doing recently. Well, guess what he's been bragging about now? Look at this. Obama jokes about not having any major scandals during his presidency. Quote, it's a big deal these days. Now, uh, the article says, well, you know, he was joking when he said it. And I've seen a bunch of articles that say, yeah, he was joking. I've read the context. The context is in the middle of him sucking off his own administration further. So, I don't know whether he's joking, but given the context, it looks like he's at least somewhat serious here. And then furthermore, he's, this is something he's now said at least twice, maybe three times. Where, you know, again, since he left office, one of the things he said previously was, we didn't have scandals in my administration. Now, apart from the fact that that's just factually incorrect, it is also beyond ridiculous and insulting to the left. Because, like, I've seen some responses from the right on this, and yes, they're hilariously stupid. Like, oh yeah? What about... Solyndra? Shut the fuck up with your bull- They dig and they get the dumbest ones, like... What about Benghazi? What about Benghazi? What, did he want those people to die? At the U.S. Embassy? Is that what he wanted? Like, they just, they don't give you, they're not solid answers. They're silly answers that they give. Another one was, I saw on a right-wing meme, they included in Scandals, the Iran deal. What do you mean, Scandals? That's one of his biggest fucking accomplishments. It, they got a peace deal with a country that we're hostile towards, and they're hostile towards us, and it was working! So that's something he deserves credit for, not blame. But the reason why this is insulting to the left is, well, on the left, there are real real substantive criticisms of Obama. For example, he, he campaigned on getting us out of Iraq. When he left office, we were still in Iraq. So at the very least, that's a broken promise. But it's actually worse than that. Because he took, we were bombing two countries when he was, when he got into office. When we left, we were bombing seven. Trump uh, ticked that up to eight now, by the way. But he took Two countries we, we were bombing and made it seven. He campaigned on ending the Iraq war. He didn't end the Iraq war. He, not only did he not roll back Bush's NSA spying, he expanded NSA spying. He waged a war on whistleblowers and wanted to go after Edward Snowden, who, by the way, is still hiding away from U.S. persecution. So, don't tell me there's no scandals. Guys, he killed a 16-year-old American citizen with a drone without a trial or any due process. Abdul Rahman Alalaki. Because, and then when someone in his administration was questioned on it, he said, well, maybe he should have had a better father. So, in other words, the older uh, Al Alaki was um, a terrorist, and he was killed with a drone. But then the U.S. killed a 16-year-old son with a drone. And then when they were like, whoa, you can't do that, they were like, he should have had a better father. Oh, so that's what we do now? We kill people uh, based on what their family members did? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, are you going to go send a drone to fucking Dylan Roof's mom's house or something now? It's just so stupid. It's stupid, it's unethical, it's immoral, it's illegal, it's unconstitutional, it's wrong. It's a giant scandal if you actually give a shit about law. But no, Mr. Constitutional Law Professor wants you to know... We didn't have any scandals in my administration. And you know what the most annoying part is? I bet what he's referring to in, in terms of Trump's administration is like Stormy Daniels. Like, see, he has a scandal. He fucked a porn star. As opposed to all the real scandals. It, Trump's tax bill is fucking scandalous because 83% of the benefits go to the top 1%. 0.1%, excuse me. 
It raises taxes on everybody making $75,000 a year or less over a decade. So the real scandals from Trump are all of the policy decisions that are against the will of the American people and screw them over. He outsourced 93,000 jobs in his first year in office. There's your fucking scandal. Is that what Obama's referring to? No. He's probably referring to Russia or fucking Trump tweeting or just all the fucking boutique establishment liberal bullshit issues. So what a letdown Obama is, man. What a letdown. I'm not saying I'm not going to give him credit for the good stuff he did. I just did in this fucking segment. I told you the Iran deal was a success. Um, but you got to keep his legacy in perspective because it's certainly, certainly not as good as many would like you to believe.